Christmas is a time for giving, but in the case of Harry Potter, Christmas was once a time for grimacing sadly at a toothpick. When Harry learned he was a wizard and made friends with people with better gift giving skills than the Dursleys, his stocking got filled with slightly more interesting stuff. Here are the best and worst presents he ever received for Christmas. A 50 pence piece. You've got to admire the amount of effort the Dursleys would go to actually not make an effort. It's quite a skill really. During Harry's first Christmas away from his adopted family, Uncle Vernon and Aunt Petunia made sure Harry knew that they hadn't forgotten about him. They sent him a 50 pence piece, a gift that says, We paid more for the postage and packaging than the actual gift. A wooden flute. This wooden flute came to Harry in his first year from Hagrid. As well as just being a thoughtful, handmade gift, this also happened to be the only thing in the world that could overpower a giant three-headed dog. Well, the only one we know about anyway. A Christmas jumper. Harry became an honorary member of the Weasleys. He might not have had the trademark flaming red hair, but Molly Weasley always made him feel like part of the family, especially with that woolly jumper. And who, of course, could forget the invisibility cloak? Inherited rather than gifted, but so important to Harry, the invisibility cloak was the first thing he received that belonged to his father. Harry didn't know how important this cloak would prove to be, beyond sneaking into the restricted section of the Hogwarts library. Polyjuice Potion. An invitation to turn into Crab and Goyle for a cunning plan? Okay, so not a present per se. A toothpick. To be fair, toothpicks are pretty useful, at least according to the Dursleys. Flying with the Cannons. An informative book stuffed with thrilling facts about the UK Quidditch team, the Chudley Cannons. Dog biscuits, because sometimes, nope, there's no way to reason with this one. The Marauder's Map. An early gift from Fred and George saw Harry bestowed with perhaps the most useful map in the world and it just so happened to have been created by his dad and a couple of good friends. The Firebolt. It just so happened that that escaped wizard everyone was worried about in the Prisoner of Azkaban was actually a very nice fellow called Sirius Black, who got Harry his dream broomstick for Christmas. Socks. Master got Dobby a pair of socks. They were from renowned sock lover Dobby the house elf, which wasn't the least bit odd, although the socks were. A single tissue. A treat for a cold in the winter and hay fever in the summer. Is it us, or did the Dursleys get softer in their old age? Quidditch teams of Britain and Ireland. A great read and a perfect gift for the Quidditch daft Harry. Great work, Granger. A guilt-inducing homework diary. When open, the diary offers such phrases as do it today or later you'll pay. Fun times. Practical defense magic and its use against the dark arts. A handy set of spell books for vanquishing dark lords. A brown wallet with fangs. Because wallets that don't try to attack you whenever you put money in them are so passé. A hand-painted portrait of Harry. A new Mona Lisa for the ages. Or as Fred Weasley called it, a gibbon with two black eyes. 